bus. About that AI pod you retrieved from Emmerich's research facility. Guess what we found inside? A corpse. Back, Human. The pod maintained a low internal temperature the whole time. Very little outside air got in. That would have slowed down decomposition. Still, the remains were mostly skeletal. Estimated time of death is between six months and a year ago. This is be quiet. Put the screws to Huey about it. Listen to the tape. Turns out it was the body of someone we knew very well. Snake? Pass. That's right. It's her. What about the bomb? We were able to remove the explosives. Both of them. Bomb! No, no, no. No, it's okay. There's another in my... It's all right. We got it out. The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. <laughs> Something's not right. Check her again. to survive. Anyway, the shock triggered some kind of amnesia. Snake, where is Professor Galvez? You mean? Yeah. She still thinks it's 1974. She's got no memory of anything before that either. Cypher, the KGB, nothing. It looks to be a kind of dissociative disorder. Dissociative amnesia memories are blocked out to protect the mind, and dissociative identity disorder, the whole personality changes. 
What we're seeing seems to be a combination of the two. She truly believes she's nothing more than a student living in 1974. Peace Day was a lot of fun. I hope we can do it again. She doesn't respond to anything that conflicts with her internal timeline. Doctor's pretty sure she's not faking it. If she had her memory, just think what she can tell us about Cypher. The photo is from that guy you brought back the other day. From the old crew. I thought it might jog her memory, but no luck. Anything else you can show her? Do you have something to show me, Snake? I give up. She's all yours. 